Good day, Forest Heights Eagles. This is Coach Randall um, coming today to do a video, kind of remind you guys about some of the stuff to remember uh, when it comes to PE and health. I uh, hope you guys are keeping safe and keeping your good social distance practices. Um, this video is for all students, PE students, but especially for our Forest Heights athletes, no matter what sports you play, um, these exercises we're going to go over today are things that can help you uh, with all sports. We're getting better and maintaining, them, especially because a lot of times, especially right now, we're limited on resources, on being able to go places to work out and going able to go places and train and things like that. So you got to find uh, what you have at home and kind of make it work for you during these workouts. Um, first thing I want to remind you guys, make sure you're eating healthy and drinking a lot of water. Um, keeping your fluids in uh, helps out, help keep your body going. Um, so starting off with the workout uh, that we're doing today, you want to want to always start off with some type of uh, stretching. So what you do first is do some type of jumping jacks or things like that to get your body warm. Remember, you never want to stretch cold muscles. The muscles are kind of like a rubber band. So if I stretch a cold rubber band, it's going to break. So I want to warm it up first and then stretch. So when you do stretch, make sure you're holding your stretches for a good 15 to 20 seconds to make sure you're really stretching your body and getting things loose so that you don't hurt yourself. Um, start off to starting off uh, with a, if you have a jump rope, uh, use it. If you don't have one, then of course you can't use one, but find something that you can use similar to it. Um, and you start off with a, just a pre-warm up, uh, five minute jump rope exercise. So what I want to do is I want to start off, I'll put five minutes on the clock. Or what I'll do is I'll count my actual jumps. So I may do a total of 500 jumps. So I start off um, first 100 jumps. Just going to do a regular uh, two step jump, two steps, jump in here. All right. And then for the next hundred, I'll go right foot, jumping on my right foot only. All right. And then we'll switch over to the left foot for the next 100. And then the next 100, what I want to do is find a line or somewhere on the ground that I want to jump back and forth about six inches or somewhere. And what I'm working on keeping my balance, but it's going back and forth. And then I do the same thing on the same line, going side to side. So after that, that's 500 jumps, and I just got my body warmed up and ready to work out. All right, so from there, we have a list of uh, 10 exercises that we do. So these will be our 10 exercises that we'll work on. And um, I'll show how to do some of them and show a modified way if you're unable to do the uh, regular way for all of them. But what you want to do is set your timer. You go for a minute. Do the exercise for a minute and then rest a minute. You go to the next exercise, rest a minute. Get a minute on, a minute off. You do four, two full rotations of these exercises will give you one full workout. And then at the end, you'll end back with the jump rope, as well as you'll end with the jump rope, as well as ending with a final stretch. So uh, first one is burpees. And it says burpee with full push up. So I don't want to just do a regular burpee where I'm going down and coming up. When I go down for my burpee, I want to make sure I'm doing a full push up coming up and jumping as high as I can each time. All right. Then next is the standing switch kicks. So we'll do a standing switch kick, and then we'll do a, a tricep switch kick as well. But on the standing switch kick, what I'm doing, keep my arms in. All right. Starting with my leg up, and I'm just switching. All right. One modified way to do it is if you're not unable to jump, just go in here. You're kicking out. Up next, push-ups. I'm doing our regular push-ups. Uh, modified push-ups, you'll use your knees. And then sit-ups, regular sit-ups. Uh, if you have a partner, somebody hold your legs, do that. If not, 
what you want to do is make sure you're using your abs. Your ab muscles is what you're using for your push up to come up. Uh, then next, we got squat jacks. So instead of doing a regular squat jumping jack, all right, do the same thing like I'm doing a regular jumping jack, but then on each one, I'm going to squat. Going all the way down to the squat. All right. When I go into the squat, I want to make sure my legs are parallel to the ground, so I'm going low enough, but I'm coming all the way up. All right, then next is the tricep switch kick. So for the tricep switch kick, similar to the switch kick here, except I'm down, and I'll start my leg up, and then we'll switch. All right, that works on my triceps as well as my core. Um, the burpees work on my full body. Standing switch kick works on my leg as well as my core. Push-ups, we're working on biceps, and sit-ups, we're working on core. All right, then next is tuck jump. So on a tuck jump, this is going to be one that helps, especially for those basketball players trying to increase your vertical jumps. Um, if you're jumping as high as you can, when you jump up, you're going to tuck your leg up to your stomach using your abs to help bring it up. But this also helps with your core. So I go here. And going up as high as I can each time. All right. And as my paper flies away, uh, next is in and out abs. So in and out abs, I'm working on my core again. Most of the exercises we're doing are working on our core because that's where all your strength just comes from within your body. That's how you get your quickness. That's how you get your speed and things like that. So with in and out abs, I start here. What I want to do is bring my legs in, then I'm going to take them to the right, and then I'll take them to the left. But after each time with direction, I'll bring them back in. And up here, middle, left, right. Middle, left, right, and I'll continue on there. Um, next be stance jacks so for stance jacks what i'm doing it's like a regular jump jack jumping jack but instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to the ground each time so i'm here and then i go crossing my body all right and then the last one will be a wall sit so i find a spot on the wall i don't know if the fence will hold me but we'll try all right and i want to go as if i'm in the seat all right, I'm just gonna hold here. I'm using my core to help me stay up as well as my legs. And um, that's working on, with that workout, I'm going a minute exercising, then a minute rest. Do two full rotations of each, of each exercise. This should be a good, say 45 minute to an hour workout, including with the warm up. Um, probably three or four days a week, and that'll probably get you where you need to be. All right, thank you.